Okay. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? There's so much to go over. So much to go over. So, welcome to Star Citizen 3.6. Step one, we need to add Star Citizen into Steam. You will go to add non-Steam game to my library. Just click on browse. I actually, I have the PTU and live. This, this method will work for both, actually. Like, right now, I am in the PTU. All I do is change the shortcut name, but I'll, I'll get to that. So go into Program Files, Robert Space Industries, Star Citizen, Live, Bin64, Star Citizen EXE. Open that. And then it will be added in, like actually right now. This is my old, this is my uh, live install. I switch around between this and the PTU just to test things. Now if, just, I'll touch on that briefly, just if you wanted to have both installs and keep using my profile, just change the name of the shortcut. Like this is the PTU, but I just changed it to Star Citizen No Space. And that is pulling up the profile I have associated. So, okay, we got Star Citizen in Steam. From here, you need to launch Star Citizen normally as you would from the launcher. But we are not adding the launcher into Steam. We don't need it. But at, once you launch the game and the game is running, go to, go to your live folder, not the bin64, what you want is grab this login data JSON, copy it, paste it onto your desktop, close the game, you will notice that gets cannibalized. It'll get erased. The launcher creep populates this login file every time you launch the game and then deletes it when you're done. So close the launcher, paste that back in, and then that's it. You're good to go. Then you will be able to launch Star Citizen in Steam, get the overlay, the only thing you need to be aware of is every so often go back in, you know, repeat that process just to repopulate this login file. Plus, you'll want to be, you know, checking with the launcher, you know, just to make sure if there are any uh, updates. And then to grab my profile, we can just go straight into from the binding screen, press right down here. Press X to browse configs. Community. I just put this new one up here. Analog Deluxe. So then just click A to import it. And you're good to go. But then in the game, we also need to do a couple of things. So let's hop over to that. We downloaded this from the Nexus mod page. This will have all the instructions that you need. Copy live. Go into Star Citizen. And just paste. And then to verify, that went into Users. Controls. Mappings. So let me go ahead and uh, delete those. So, right here we have it. And actually, if you wanted to put this into the PTU, just just copy that XML. So go copy. Go back to Star Citizen PTU. User. Controls. Mappings. That's right there. In the game, right away. One way to test to know things are screwed up is push these edges. <laughs> yeah, that, that shouldn't be happening. What is happening is it's trying to read the game's default controller stuff. So, what you need to do, options, key bindings, advanced control customization, control profiles, clear all device bindings, do this First, don't just load in mine. For 
loading in blank key bindings to gamepad. Load. And actually one way to verify is click to gamepad, control profile. Nothing is in here. That's good, that's what we want. Blank slate. Now, control profile. Click on mine. Existential egg, 3.6 analog deluxe. All we need to do is load the gamepad. Load. We're still on here so we can verify. Now it's pulling up my bindings, which is good. So then as we go back into game, I can press up, I'm jumping, down to crouch, back up to stand up, and the camera's not snapping around crazy. So alright, that's the instructional part. Moving on. So I had to make a couple of changes to the profile to get it ready for 3.6. And we now have a free look. So that, not really a big deal, it just required a... Uh, let me turn off that head tracking. It just required me to make some changes because the original profile... The 3.5 actually doesn't have a free look hold, but I was making it a free look hold, so... If you're using that one, it's not gonna behave the way it should. So okay, let me just go over general changes from the previous profile. So I basically just went in here let's get that out of the way. It's ma mainly just quality of life stuff. I cleaned up a lot of things. I fixed up the uh, labels for the layers. I fixed up some descriptions. Uh, I improved like this is different now. I improved the transition between well, let me pull this up. Because you have, you know, this inner circle is all a mouse, but the outer circle becomes a full analog stick. Gave it a larger circle. And the main reason that I went with this different springboard layer approach is that it gives you the haptics on the joystick move. So now when you tap up, you'll feel a nice little thunk each time. Actually, let's just go out. There. So you have a, a full, full analog range, and one of the benefits of this new method is until I let go, I'm completely on this analog for rolling and strafing. I also fixed the double tap behavior, double tap or interact. It was just acting a little inconsistently in the previous profile, so it should be much more consistent now. And then you can also click and hold in the center bumper to focus. Let go. Uh, other change. Let's hop into... Well, nope, before I do that. Left stick. Left stick, hold to the right. I cleaned up the uh, cleaned up the emotes, descriptions, icons, and added some more. So we got like what's a new one? Uh, disagree. Nope. I think threaten is a new one. The dashes designate a hold, so hold it for the rude, click once to flex, long hold to flirt, click once to gloat, 
long hold to dance. You know, you get the idea. Now the one thing with the way they change the free look is it is possible to get yourself stuck. So I hold the right grip. You know, like this. Okay, I let go. Like, well, that's not good. I want to reset the camera. Hold it. Click in the right pad, then let go. See, it just did it. Problem is, I'm now locked into this free look orbit, which you actually can't even get to default on the keyboard. Z no longer toggles your free look. And what is happening is this is a bug between holding Z, F4, and the uh, reset number pad asterisk. So what you just need to do is just let go of the right grip when you reset the view. So I hold it in. I'm looking around, I want to reset. I'm going to click in this right pad and then let go of the grip and then it's fine. So it, that's not really an issue with my profile. It's just this weird little thing with the game that only people using my profile will probably come across. Yeah, if I click in and hold then it gets, it's just a weird... So just click and then let go. Let's get into flight. So I did notice, you know, you hold left pad. That's your throttle. You can see the bar. But every so often you could accidentally do it really quick and you would fire. Which that's no good. So I changed the behavior of that a little bit just to make it more more reliably consistent that you don't get any accidental misfires. And another change with this is while I'm holding in left pad for my flight adjustments. So I have the throttle, but another thing that's really important with the hover mode is hold in the right pad now I can control my uh, acceleration limiter. And this is on the right trigger, that is a full, it's an, they're all analog functions now. One of the big problems with, well, not a problem, but one of the frustrations with 3.6 is the new hover mode. Like if I was doing this, the ship would behave like a helicopter on, in a atmosphere and I would start drifting forward. So what I did is I added in if we go to this flight adjust layer X is mouse aim mode, Y is lock doors, B is emergency seat exit which is a new binding too which I'm not totally clear on that one. It doesn't seem like it really functions any differently but I wanted to put it in there. And then A is open and closed doors. But what we're looking at is this X. So, like for this, like, whoa, then I would start drifting way forward. I need to keep myself level. Push X. Now, it binds the mouse into this and it'll keep you level. And then you wouldn't have to worry about drifting. You only have to worry about strafing left, right, forward, back, and up and down. Left click, push X, and then it resets it. Left pad click, press A, close the doors. Open all the doors, and that will open everything. Which can be a nice, like if you're a dropship or something, you want everybody to run into the ship. The so long press A, close all the doors. Y is lock, though I have noticed some inconsistency. I think that's just the ships. So, okay, what else has been changed? Let's turn some lights on. So let's, we hold in right bumper, click to mining.
So I right click to engage the laser. I go back into my flight adjustment. So I'm holding left pad. Then it's all this, the right trigger. It's an absolute throttle. So it's just, you know, full pull, put it on half. You know, it's the range of me pulling on that trigger. I let go. Because I've noticed in mining, a lot of it is like you're just boosting up the laser a little bit, boosting it, boosting it, boosting it. So that's a change. Just hold in left pad and it's all on the right trigger. Which actually, the mining is really fun. That might be <laughs> something I want to end up doing more. Yeah, then you just switch to extraction and suck stuff out. So that was a change, which I can actually show you since I'm able to get access to these ships while I'm in the PTU right now. Take that back in. I, I made some changes to some of the icons here, just trying to make things clearer. Dashes will always designate a long press, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, the only other main change that I made was... I don't, I'm not going to bother loading up into the universe to try to show you this, but... On the ground vehicles, you now have up and down. Up click and down click will be primary and secondary firing. Because that was another one that I was able to test in the PTU in the uh, Ballista. And the Interact is much better and more consistent than it was before. Before, like, you couldn't really use the double tap because the triggers were throttle, so I gave it a separate ground vehicle interact mode, which is on the double tap or the long press. It'll, it'll behave just like interact works on everything else. It was just some under the hood stuff. Ah, uh, but that, I think, is everything, pretty much everything I can think of is in here. I would urge you to download the reference sheet that I made that has all the key bindings. If you're not sure what to do, you can look at that. I don't want to make a video where I'm going over every single binding. That'll end up being like a 40-minute video. All right, well, I think that went pretty well. Let's, uh... Yeah. Good job.